The Avengers Black Widow was sterilized. How did it happen? Could she still get pregnant? In today's episode of Infertility TV, we will explore this mystery. In the movie Avengers Age of Ultron, the only female Avenger, Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow, reveals to Bruce Banner, the Hulk, that she was forcibly sterilized during her training to become a master assassin. We never learned how Natasha was sterilized. Let's look at some possibilities and what options there are for getting pregnant. Tubal sterilization. Surgically blocking the fallopian tubes is the most common method used to achieve sterilization in women. This procedure is commonly performed as a same-day outpatient procedure using laparoscopy. The tubes are surgically cut or cauterized and separated into two. It is a quick and highly efficient procedure. This is the most likely way in which Black Widow is sterilized. As she puts it, They sterilize you. It's efficient. It is possible to get pregnant after a tubal sterilization procedure. There are two methods. One method is another surgery to repair the tubes. This is called a tubal anastomosis. Basically, the fertility surgeon will remove the blocked or damaged ends of the tubes and then join the two parts of the tubes back together. The success of this surgery depends on how much damage was done to the fallopian tubes during the original sterilization procedure. The more damage that was done to the tubes, the less likely it is that an anastomosis will be successful. In some cases, a sterilization procedure may be performed by removing the fallopian tubes entirely. In this case, a tubal anastomosis is not possible. A second method for achieving pregnancy after tubal sterilization is IVF. In fact, IVF works well for any type of tubal blockage, whether it was done on purpose or not. IVF doesn't fix the tubes, but it gets around the blockage by not using the fallopian tubes. Eggs are removed from a woman's ovaries and fertilized outside of her body. The resulting embryo is then placed directly into the uterus. This bypasses blocked fallopian tubes. In fact, you don't even need tubes to do IVF. Hysterectomy. Hysterectomy is the surgical removal of the uterus. Without a uterus, a woman can't get pregnant on her own. This is a much more involved surgery than tubal sterilization, with a higher risk of complications. So it isn't likely this was the method used on Black Widow. But let's say this is what happened. There are two methods Black Widow could have used to still achieve a pregnancy. First, it is now possible to do a uterus transplant. The technology exists to remove a uterus from one woman and place it into another. There are now reported pregnancies and deliveries that have occurred using this method. It is still a very new procedure, however, and a woman would need to take medications to prevent rejection of the transplant. The main advantage is that Black Widow would still be able to carry the pregnancy and deliver the baby. A second method is to use what is known as a gestational carrier or gestational surrogate. This uses the same IVF technology I discussed earlier, but with a twist. Doctors would remove the eggs from the ovaries and fertilize them outside the body, but instead of putting the embryo into the uterus of the woman who provided the eggs, you would put the embryo into another woman. This second woman could carry and deliver the pregnancy. Black Widow would still be the genetic parent since she provided the eggs. This method has been used commonly for women who were born without a uterus, women who have had their uterus surgically removed, and women who have medical problems that make it dangerous for them to carry a pregnancy. Lots of celebrities like Nicole Kidman, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Tyra Banks have used this method to achieve pregnancy. Removing the ovaries. If Black Widow had her ovaries removed, but still had her uterus, she could have used egg donation to have a child. Egg donation is sort of the opposite of gestational surrogacy. This also uses the technology of IVF, and here's how it could work. Black Widow would select a woman she wants to be her egg donor, like Captain Marvel herself, Carol Danvers. Captain Marvel would take fertility medications and have an egg retrieval. The eggs would then be fertilized with Bruce Banner's sperm. Meanwhile, Black Widow would take hormones to prepare her uterus 
and the embryo would be transferred into her uterus. In this case, Captain Marvel and the Hulk would be considered the genetic parents, and Black Widow would be the gestational parent. Damaging the ovaries. Finally, it is possible that Black Widow was sterilized in a non-surgical way. This could be done by exposing the ovaries to radiation or by using chemical agents or medications to destroy the eggs. Since women have all of the eggs they are ever going to have in their life, destroying the eggs would leave her without any remaining eggs and would make her sterile. This is what happens sometimes when women are treated for cancer. Cancer treatments can result in a condition called premature ovarian failure. There are many natural causes for premature ovarian failure, but chemotherapy and radiation therapy are unfortunately all too common a cause. Women with ovarian failure do not ovulate, they do not make hormones, and therefore they don't have periods. Women with ovarian failure can achieve pregnancy most easily using egg donation, just like I discussed for women without ovaries. Sometimes, however, women with ovarian failure can get pregnant on their own. This happens because not all of the eggs were destroyed by the chemotherapy or radiation. It's amazing. Sometimes, after years of having no periods, women with chemo-induced ovarian failure will start ovulating, have periods, and conceive. This is more likely to happen with chemo-induced ovarian failure than any other cause. This makes it unlikely that this was the method used to sterilize Black Widow, since it is not easy or efficient. So, our infertility TV bottom line is that IVF and fertility treatments could have helped Black Widow overcome her sterilization. But you don't have to be a superhero to take advantage of these treatments. They are available to you right now. Infertility gets covered in a lot of popular movies and TV shows, but are these depictions realistic? Watch this playlist to find out. Be sure to like this video. If you have questions or an idea for a future episode, leave it in the comments. And you should definitely subscribe to Infertility TV now for new episodes weekly. It's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.